for me, I learn far more through experience. I always think of the difference between failure and success as the difference between being able to keep going or backing out. My interest in exploration probably came from an early age, you know, I was always fascinated by, by the outdoors, but I was always keen in pushing myself, you know, physically and mentally, really challenging myself. This, this idea to go off traveling, develop myself as a, as a person, and throw myself in the outdoors, making mistakes, but trying never to make the same mistake twice. Uh, and that's where it all sort of kicked off. Training came before the adventures. I was always looking to push myself, challenge myself, see what my body was physically uh, and mentally capable of. And I realised that you know I need to keep my body in complete form for me to be able to succeed in these big expeditions that I take on. And that's when I upped my game. I raised the platform. I raised all the levels. What I achieve in the training prepares me for what I try to achieve out on the field during an expedition. When I'm at breaking point during an expedition, I'd say the most crucial thing that I do more than anything is visualise. I've got to visualise that I can make it through, almost like I must mentally believe it before I physically push myself through it. Uh, the last thing I want is to obviously fail, have people tap me on the shoulder, say, oh, well, you tried your best. I can see that and that's equally not something that I want. So I visualise the end goal, I see myself finishing uh, and I push forward no matter what. You know, I've found my niche, I've found my passion, this is what I love. I hold two world first records, becoming the first person to walk solo and unsupported across Mongolia, and the first person to traverse Madagascar's length through its central interior. I'm only 26, I feel like I'm just getting started, so for me, it truly is only just beginning. I'm Ash Dykes, I'm a British adventurer and extreme athlete.